building? Mount Pleasant Apartments, two Waverly Street. Okay, Mount Pleasant Apartments, two Waverly Street. Sequence of operation of the boilers and domestic hot water. On a call for domestic hot water, the boilers, any boiler can run, and it will hold 140 to the tank temperature to get to 140 in the tank temperature, and the boilers will run to, to hold that temperature. Any boiler can run, like I said. The next thing is the heat sequence for heating. What's going to happen is the first boiler on, when the call for heat comes, the first boiler that's going to start is the boiler with the least amount of running time on it. It's going to fire and stay on low fire for one minute, then modulate up to 60% of its rate. Then it's going to stay at 60% for 10 minutes. At the end of 10 minutes, if the boiler hasn't got into the band, the temperature band it's looking for, mm -hmm. it'll bring another boiler on. It could be any one of the other boilers. That'll start, do the same thing, stay on low fire for 10 seconds, then run at 60%. Now, if you approach the band with two boilers and you get into the band, it will not start the third boiler. It knows that it doesn't need it. And if your second boiler, for example, comes on, or your third boiler comes on, and you approach close to the band, it'll, it'll, it won't go to 60%, it'll go to less. Okay. Because it knows it approaches the band. And after it does this uh, so many times, it trends, it learns what to do. And what it will do is it will modulate accordingly to hold the load. And another thing is, the runtime of the boilers, like I said, the least amount of time on the boiler will always be the first boiler to start. But if one boiler carries the load and stays running for 10 minutes, I mean 10 hours steady, it, that will automatically shut off and go to another boiler. Okay. The next boiler with the least amount of time. Mm -hmm. And then that sequence will start all over again if need be. Now also, when I get to the end of the band, is what they call a shed. And the shed is, if you get to the end of the band and one boiler is running at its lowest point, 25%, chances are if there's a heat load, you're going to drop in temperature because it's not enough. And it'll bring on, uh, modulate the boiler up, bring other boilers on accordingly. But if I don't have that shed at two minutes, what will happen is, when you reach the end of the band, all boilers shut off. Okay. And now you've got to go through that whole sequence that I explained of starting up. So that's why we need the shed in here. And that's how it works. Okay, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. All right.